Let's speak to Emra Ersen, who is a lecturer of the International Relations Department at Marmara University, joining me live in the studio. Emra, good to see you. Now, we know that uh, President Erdogan is on his way to the region. He's visiting Gaziantep and then Karkamish. What do you think he is trying to achieve uh, with this trip? What message is he sending out regionally and internationally? Well, I think, uh, first of all, the visit of President Erdogan to Gaziantep today is extremely important. And I think it's a strong message to the three uh, terrorist organizations that Turkey uh, has been currently fighting against in the region, uh, the Daesh, PKK, and the PYD. Because as you know, only a week ago, Daesh actually killed more than 50 people uh, with a suicide attack in Gaziantep. And also the Turkish uh, armed forces uh, last week have launched a very uh, significant cross-border military operation. And they are currently fighting against the PKK. Uh, the PYD and the Daesh in uh, Syria. So I think this visit, first of all, is important to boost the morale of uh, the Turkish security forces inside Turkey, but also the Turkish armed forces who are uh, practically fighting against these uh, terrorist groups in Syria. But more importantly, I think it's also important to boost uh, the morale of the Turkish public as well, which has been uh, currently shaken by all these terrorist incidents and events happening uh, in the country. Um, but I also think it has an international uh, significance as well, because it actually takes uh, place only two days later, uh, two days after the uh, meeting in Geneva between uh, uh, John Kerry and Sergei Lavrov. Although uh, the United States and Russia have failed to come up uh, to a, uh, with a final solution in Syria, uh, there is a diplomatic process going on there. And I think it's very important that Turkey is not excluded from this process. So I think Erdogan will uh, touch upon all these issues in his speech in Gaziantep today. Will the US and Russia be making of this move by Turkey militarily into Syria? Because, of course, the US have been very much uh, working with the YPG, uh, using the YPG to combat Daesh. While here in this particular operation, you've got Turkey pushing away the YPG and fighting against the YPG. Well, I think we need to remember that, yes, I mean, I agree that both Russia and the United States have provided uh, significant support to the YPG in the past, but I think we should see that more of a tactical support rather than a strategic one. Especially in the case of Russia, the relations with the YPG have always been quite uh, pragmatic. The United States, uh, yes, it is true that it has a much more uh, powerful relationship with the YPG, but I think it's also important to note that both uh, the United States uh, Vice President Joe Biden and Secretary of State John Kerry uh, emphasized that they don't really want to see the uh, emergence of an independent Kurdish entity in northern Syria currently, which I think uh, can be regarded as a message that uh, the relations with uh, Turkey cannot be sacrificed by the United States just for the sake of uh, strengthening its relations with the YPG. So we have a strategic alliance here between Turkey and the United States and a pragmatic alliance between the United States and YPG. And definitely the alliance with Turkey seems to be much more important. Now, Turkey is essentially entering a country, it's entered Syria militarily without any uh, support from Syria. Syria do not want Turkey there. What will be the view of NATO, a body that Turkey is part of, towards this operation? Well, I think we need to remember that uh, Turkey entered there with uh, using the, uh, the, the argument of self-defense, which actually from time to time can be used uh, in order to enter another country, although Russia and Iran are quite skeptical about the Turkish argument. But I think we can also regard this as a NATO uh, operation as well, because we need to remember that the Turkish ground forces are currently supported by the United States uh, Air Forces as well. And this uh, uh, operation is actually conducted against Daesh which is regarded by, uh, as a terrorist organization by NATO. But I think here, uh, rather than NATO, the bilateral dialogue between the United States and Russia seems to be much more important, at least in the diplomatic field. But definitely, uh, NATO is uh, by the side of Turkey regarding uh, this operation. OK, really good to speak to you. Emre Ersen, lecturer at the International Relations Department at Marmara University. Many thanks for joining us today.